Hello, I'm Dr. YouTube. I usually regularly upload medical educational videos, but in this episode, I will talk about my COVID-19 experience as a doctor. Now, I'm not good looking, and nor do I wear a mask or do I have makeup. So unlike other similar videos out there, I won't be showing my face. Hopefully that's good news for you. I'll talk through my diagnosis, self-management, and my personal thoughts on this condition. Now, uh, this is not a pregnancy test. This is a lateral flow test. As healthcare professionals, we're very, very lucky uh, to be offered this. Uh, basically, it's a routine um, self-nasal swab kit, enough to make you cry, enough to make you sneeze. Two lines are considered positive, one line is considered negative. I just finished my night shift on New Year's Day, four night shifts, uh, and uh, I noticed on the, uh, after finishing my night shift, I had a slight headache. So I decided to test this a bit earlier, and fortunately came back positive. The confirmatory test is a nasal PCR test, as you can see here. You stick this up your nose, enough, sorry, up your throat, enough to make you gag. I actually had to gag twice because when I put this into this container, it uh, unfortunately flew out. And uh, yeah, that wasn't very good. But anyways, uh, I received my results two days later. And that was when guilt started to set in. Because until then, since I started working, and the healthcare service. I've never taken days of sick leave, and uh, nor have I uh, ever caught any infection. So, even though I've done everything I, that I could, even wearing mask back in January and December time before it hit the country, uh, I was COVID free. That might be something that you might be going through if you've just been diagnosed with COVID. Now, as a doctor dealing with COVID and on COVID patients, I've seen the spectrum of the patients, very fit and healthy people like myself, and those who are very old and frail. They also present with a condition of uh, the spectrum severity, from very mild to the more severe forms requiring intensive care. And, and I've seen very young, fit people ending up in ICU as well. So my aim was, aside from preventing the spread to other people, was to also make sure that I was safe, to avoid hospital admission at all costs. Now, COVID-19 is a hyperinflammatory condition. So, um, when your disease, well, sorry, when your body fights off an infection, it mounts an immune system, an immune response, antibodies to fight off infections. Now, sometimes it can go a bit haywire, and that's where uh, uh, drugs used to treat COVID actually dampens down the immune system slightly. Um, Day five to day 10 is when things can get a bit worse. When you start notice a bit out of breath, you can develop complications related to COVID. And I've seen this in, in a few instances of lung clots, of inflammation of body systems, such as the heart uh, and the brain. So I decided to buy myself an oxygen saturation to probe to make sure my numbers were fine. So aiming for 94 and above percent, as you can see there. I made myself mobile, uh, making sure I walked plenty within the house, drank plenty of water, keeping myself active to prevent the risk of developing leg clots. I thought about wearing a uh, compression stocking, but it was more uncomfortable. So, uh, But if you have risk factors, you may want to consider that. Uh, obviously, to prevent myself to spreading it to others, I stayed at home. Um, I uh, had food uh, delivery, and Iceland was very good. 
they did sponsor me for this video. I don't have enough uh, viewership, but they were very good because uh, I think if you order 35 pounds and above, it's free delivery, and they had plenty of delivery slots, so they were very, very good. Obviously, keeping my friends and relatives updated was very important to me as well. Now, um, I consider myself lucky because I'm young and healthy, relatively, uh, but I know even young and healthy people can get admitted to hospital because of COVID. So for those who are diagnosed with COVID recently, uh, you may want to consider keeping a diary of your symptoms, making a note of day five and day 10 of diagnosis, because as I said before, that's when things can get a bit worse. Keep yourself active, drink plenty of water to reduce your chances of lead clot. You may want to consider an oxygen uh, saturation probe, as you can see here. Um, to, uh, and also uh, keep an eye on day five to day 10. For those who are more at risk of catching COVID and having complications related to it, such as leg clot, as I said before, lung clots, which could be lethal. So those are those who have diabetes, obese, have heart disease, or of old age and high blood pressure. I urge those and very fit people, everyone, to stick to good hand hygiene, good masking, good social distancing. And if the vaccine is out there for you, I think the benefits outweigh the risks. Obviously, it must be an individualized decision, but I think the, the benefits outweigh the risks. Let's stay safe, let's not be COVID idiots, and let's survive the year. Take care, guys. Dr. YouTube, signing up.